my god, that person is having some fish and chips and it smells so good. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I'm joined by my best friend, Hannah. You may have seen her in such episodes as Disney World vlogs day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, and day six. We were just thinking like, what was the last video I was in? And I was like, it actually was probably Disney. Yeah. And you guys loved there her, so she's back oh. now. So we are currently at the old Cheshire Cheese. It's on Fleet Street off of Chancery Lane and it's one of the oldest pubs in London and it's our favourite pub. It is amazing. There's like open fires, it smells like old books. One of the cheapest places to get gin. Today we are going to go on a gin tour. We're going to go pretend that we know what we're talking about gin while we'll trying some gin. So it'll be quite good. Yeah. We're excited. We're excited. So we're going to take you along with us and it'll be nice for us to look back on again when we're old. It will. It will. And looking. When hopefully I own my own alcohol distillery and I can be like an old beganner. In your old Cheshire cheese. Yeah. <laughs> but um, anyway, we're going to drink gin now and then take you along with us. <laughs> One hour later. Okay, so we are now trying to hunt down this distillery. If I was a distillery, where would I be? Probably next to this cool cathedral. Is it? It's a really cool church. It is very cool. It? It's like something out of Buffy. This one is called the City Distillery. It's well, based the in Chancery Lane. There we go. Yeah! <laughs> da, 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 da. This will be us later on. <laughs> Preparing our GNTs. Yes, you pour that ice in. How excited are you? It's pretty cute. So, as you arrive, they give you a welcome drink. It looks inviting, so I'm gonna go and dig in. That's yeah. really nice. It's quite <laughs> sweet. That's really good, actually. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't interrupt. <laughs> Luckily, I did fill my face. Oh, you did. I was just like, dang. This is our gin flight. Oh, this one is filled up. Okay, we're sat on this cool long table. I think we're gonna start the tour over there soon. And this is our very cool guide. Do you have to squeeze it? Squeeze the juniper berries. <laughs> This is the smell that deterred me from gin for about 20 years because I, I broke into my um, um, parents' liquor cabinet, okay, found a bottle of Gordon's, drank it, and then went back to gin about, up to about five or six years ago. The this nearest fact you would have when they were making it, it, it like, it's like a sweet sour mash, okay? <laughs> right. Enjoy. In front, a spittoon, awful stuff you just smell. This is the stuff that's the equivalent of what you smelt, what you would have tasted back in the day to it. We're doing our gin flight now. we just put some water in the water glass. We're going to try it neat. And then if it's too strong, we put in a few drops of water. Which one's which? There's only one way to find out. <laughs> First one nearest your water glass, you're not going to touch, you're just going to listen for now. It's Old Tom. Yeah, have a, have a nose, have a taste. If you like, add, I'm too sure, add tonic water. It doesn't make you like cringe. Yeah. yeah, we like this one. It's not it's strong, but it's not overpowering. And establish it feels like a really good summer See, garden party. You don't to fill your water glass too much. This is the Christopher Wren. He was the guy that invented the pools so and the up another two dry inches. church. Ooh. Yeah, it's a lot easier to drink. Yeah. It's longer. yeah. We've got the square mile now, it's about 47%. It's very strong. It yeah, and he, he gave us like a lot as well. Mmm, that's good though. Yeah. Like yeah. Face. I, li I, li I like it. <laughs> I like it. I love two gins down, so I'm like, I love everything. <laughs> gins kicked in, gins all Yeah, I'm like, gin! <laughs> okay, we're ready for the tour. Bomb-proof glass, okay. Uh, it is highly flammable. When it does come off here, it comes off at 85.6 ABV. Okay, so it's strong stuff. Uh, it's also pumped back into the air as well, so you'll know when we're just in because it, when you walk in, you'll smell it, it'll have a warm glow, and you'll fly down the stairs. <laughs> okay. And each process takes 
four to five hours, and we distill about four or five times a week. We leave the master distiller in here, um, and we just close the doors and we feed them and water them in there again. <laughs> Is this a slow gym? Mm, how are you finding this so far? I'm very happy. It's really interesting. Are you truly happy or is the gym? Like, no, I'm like legit happy. I'm like legit happy, but the gym is helping. So. I get excited when it's like, let's talk professionally about alcohol. I'm like, yeah. 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 What are the fun facts about so I always thought the tall bits were called column distilleries, but they also named them after the two fat ladies. So you can name your distillery kit. Off the real people, and that's just fine. <laughs> also, it's really interesting to learn about um, the the different ways that they make slow gin because my parents always make slow gin and they always get slow berries. They prick them and they put it with sugar. And they said here that you can do it with frozen berries as well, so you can make it all around. Fun fact. <laughs> also, you can um, pay to go to the gin lab and make your own gin. Yeah, you and they like and name it. Yeah, and you can name it. You can bottle. It, you can put it on file and reorder it. I think that's going to be like the next present. Maybe you're thirty. With a picture of my face. <laughs> Just your face stamped on the bottle. Okay, cool. Let's try some slow gin. I really like this one. Show the Oh yeah, show the juniper berries. So these are one of the key botanicals. <laughs> Squeeze it real good. Also, Dutch courage comes from gin. Gin is Dutch. It's when Princess Anne was married to the king of Netherlands and um, the soldiers used to drink apparently a litre of gin before they went into war hence why it's called Dutch courage gin was also brought by the monks along with whiskey and wine is that true? Yeah. No, the monks just make a lot of stuff monks are great they just gave us loads of alcohol so um, yeah, right. should we, are we allowed to try it out? Have a nose, have a taste, let me know what you think too easy to drink. And that is like the most that I've ever had before. And this is Jonathan, the master distiller. Ooh, oh, Jonathan. So you are drinking his lovely gin at the moment. Alcohol is best. Yeah! Okay, but what I'm trying to say is to you that balance is everything. And if you enjoy tonight, his name is Joel. <laughs> And if you didn't like it, no, I was going to say your name was Jake, and if you didn't like it, it was Chris. I'm going to give you your name away at all, sorry. So, but basically, it really is important that if you really enjoy it, we have such a small distillery, that if you have enjoyed it, please give us some social media. If you didn't enjoy it, shut up. Good night. Good night.